And hello friends and fellow neighbors, and welcome back to another edition of Live Life Friend. And today I am joined with Mr. Tony Mitchell, who is the president of the AFI Championship Mindset, where, where he mentors at-risk kids, and it's something he has been doing for over 20 years. Mr. Mitchell, thank you so much for joining us today, and I really appreciate it's, it's it. It's my pleasure, Colton. My pleasure and to also, be here. And also, I love that sweater, by the way. Thank you. This it. is in honor of Fred Rogers. This is my, That's right. This is my sweater. That's right. Okay, so, so, so Mr. Mitchell, how did you get start mentoring, and, and what motivated you to, uh, uh, to try to uh, get these at-risk at kids right? Well, you know what? I grew up in the, in the projects in the Hill District in the uh, early 70s, and there was a lot of drugs and violence going on. And a lot of kids never really got a chance to explore different things, and I was one of those kids. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be in a position at some point to give kids the opportunity to experience life, you know, and not live in a fishbowl. We call it the fishbowl, man, fishbowl. You know, you swim in the same fishbowl forever and you never jump in the big lake with the big fish. So my program was designed many years ago to help kids get out of the fishbowl and swim with the big fish. And and, and I'm sure they, they, they really appreciate it when they finally get out of that fishbowl, I suppose. Absolutely, absolutely. We have so many success stories. And um, my biggest passion was to give kids the opportunity to experience life and do the things that they dreamed about. Everybody has hopes and dreams, and uh, we wanted those kids to explore their hopes and dreams. And along with Mr. Mitchell, we are also joined by Mr. Thomas Wallace, who is the executive director of the YMCA. So, uh, Mr. Wallace, uh, why don't you guys uh, tell us a um, li li little bit about your history in high school and in college? Absolutely. So high school was an interesting time. Interesting time. <laughs> uh, we, 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 Tony was at the time our new high school football coach. Um, and it, we were a little reluctant to uh, get on board with the program that Tony was trying to implement, uh, to, to try to, uh, to, to implement uh, because we weren't able to see the bigger picture at the time. So I, it was a, we were a little reluctant at first, but after about uh, half a year, we were able to, he was able to get across the message. And that message was that we were much more than what we perceived ourselves to be at that time. And we had great futures ahead of us. So during that time, Tony came in and implemented some, uh, his program, um, now AFI, uh, and, and implemented a championship mindset that helped uh, us build and become a team, and more than a team, actually a family. And through that development, through that program, we are able to have a, a successful sports career, but more importantly, we're able to begin to succeed as students. And from there, that led us to the next level of education, where Tony actually uh, continued his mentoring even after high school, and he was the one that dropped us off at college. <laughs> yeah, I remember that vividly. We had four guys who wanted to go to Edinburgh, and um, we loaded up a van, rented a van, and we talked about what the plan was. Uh, you go to college, you get your degree, and you don't come home until you get your degree. <laughs> you get your degree. And uh, we loaded up, and we went up there, and as fate would have it, Thomas was the only one of the four that graduated from Edinburgh. And me and Thomas have been really close throughout the entire process. I'm extremely proud of him for what he overcame, and now he's mentoring people. Uh -huh. You know, and as somebody else who also played high school football, you know, just like going back to what you said about that championship mindset that you put, because that, that's something that my coaches always, that always, messaged us about and, and, and you know it's, it's kind of funny because I can kind of relate to what you guys think but that story is absolutely amazing how you guys were able to carry on your relationship through your, through, through your adult life that, that's really amazing and as Mr. Wallace said he is he is in a way paying it forward just as Mr. Mitchell did to him when he was in high school to the kids here at the YMCA so, so I have a question for both of you. How can how can some one of our viewers be be able to mentor and pay it forward just as you guys do? You want to take? Want to take it? Well, I think you first have to have a passion for for helping people, 
find their, their greatness. We call it finding your greatness through championship mindset. And if you have that passion, you reach out to people and help them find out what their strengths and their weaknesses are and just really encourage them to be great. I, I, I would say much of the same. I think there's always opportunities through championship mindset. Uh, there's opportunities to go in and mentor and, and coach young ones. Uh, also here at the YMCA, there are a vast amount of opportunities to come in and be involved on different levels of mentoring. Uh, you, whether it's at the elementary school age or up through teenage, even young adult opportunities. I'm a firm believer in having a strong mentor really sets you up and sets the foundation for a successful life. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then they can maybe do it later in their life by mentoring somebody who was in their shoes. Yeah. Absolutely, that's one of the things that I was encouraged uh, to do by by Tony is uh, help set that vision of not only becoming successful for myself, but once you do get to that level where. Where, where you're able to pay it forward, then that's what you do, and that's how we continue to pay it forward um, for generations to come. That's I have another question for both of you. If you guys would ever want to say something to Mr. Rogers, what would it be? Uh, uh, Mr. Mitchell, why don't we start with you? Uh, the first thing I would say is, is thank you for having a show that gave us a platform to be fully inclusive. When I was a kid, there were a lot of different things, tensions and turbulence going on, and you always felt like you were somebody when you watched that show. It was just so great to know that you mattered. So I was just saying thank you for everything thank that you, you. gave us. Thank you. That's a really nice message, huh? Mr. Wallace? I, I, would, I would echo that, that same thank you, um, as well as the words stated. And I would also add for uh, thank you for the, the emphasis and importance on education. I was one that grew up uh, watching Mr. Rogers and I can remember learning some things that I didn't learn necessarily in school <laughs> and saying, ah, having that aha moment when Mr. Fred Rogers put it all together. So thank you for that. Thank you, I would, and I would say thank you as well. I will, I will both of them. Okay, so uh, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your documentary that you did? Uh, I'd be glad to. Uh, we did a documentary um, sponsored by AFI, and it was the subject matter was the kids that I mentored at Wilkinsburg High School from the years 96 to 99. And the documentary is called Championship Mindset on the Road to Greatness. And Thomas Wallace and several other former players were in that documentary. And the documentary's focus was, how can you change someone's mindset from a negative to a positive? And we shot so much footage. We used Graham Field, the locker room. We used the school cafeteria just to kind of conjure up memories of the way things were. And in their own words, they talked about how championship mindset changed their lives. Um, I remember when we did one specific piece and we were talking about, you guys said, you're gonna give me one shot. It was a new coach. We were giving him one shot. We are gonna see if this guy knows what he's talking about. And they were sold. Tell them about that piece, when we Absol shot that piece. Absolutely. Uh, so we were, we were again, uh, early on in our high school career, I believe we were going into our sophomore year, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And we had played one year of football where we had lost every game. So the guys and I had decided that football was no longer. Um, we were going to spend our time doing a whole lot of things that we weren't supposed to be doing. <laughs> and during that off season, I remember Tony constantly riding us and saying, hey, you guys need to come up. I'll be the new coach. You need to come check out the program. Uh, you know, we'll be having a practice this date, that date. And as it got closer to the date, uh, it only became more intense <laughs> that Tony were, was riding us. So ultimately, I remember pulling all the fellas together and saying, hey, let's just go give it a shot. And if it's the same thing that we've experienced last year, then it'll just be our last day. And we went up there uh, to this practice and um, 
probably a quarter of the way through, we knew things were different. Uh, the, the, the energy in the room with the new coaches, uh, the, the, the things that they were doing and, and saying uh, to the players and the respect that they were treating the players with, but also the gentle touch to, to go with that. Um, we knew that things were, were, great things were on the horizon uh, for our program. So we decided to stay. Yeah. <laughs> and that started that was, that was the best thing that ever happened because that was like the birth of championship mindset. Tell viewers where they can find the documentary. Well, you're going to be able to find it on our website at um, AFIChampionshipMindset.com or you can go to our email, AFIChampionshipMindset at gmail.com. Such a good feeling to know you're alive is such a happy feeling you're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say i think i'll make a snappy new day it's such a good feeling a very good feeling a feeling you know that i'll be back when the day is new i'll have new ideas for you you have things you want to talk about, I will too. Because it's you I like.